Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below, your direct purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews or our website, thewatchbox.com. Email me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the 25th anniversary Omega Seamaster Professional Diver launched in 2018 at Basel World. This 42 millimeter stainless steel watch is the successor to the original James Bond Omega Diver 300 meters that rose to fame on the wrist of Pierce Brosnan in his 007 during the 1990s. And with over a quarter century behind it, this is the longest lived Omega Seamaster designed since the original in 1948. Now, as you can see, the timepiece 42 millimeters in stainless steel is 13.7 millimeters thick, 50 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So it uses that universal bracelet and strap size. And you can even use your original diver 300 meter straps on this watch if you so choose. We're gonna throw it on my wrist real quick. My wrist 16 centimeters in circumference and I own the original 41 ver millimeter version of this watch. This one wears exactly the same. It's a little bit thicker, but then again, you're getting a lot more inside the case and it's better built so the bracelet feels more solid. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, maybe even 13 and a half because the pivoted end links ensure that the watch wears 50 millimeters lug to lug and link to link with no difference between the two. The timepiece is solidly made. Let's take a look at the hardware. You can see that the design of the bracelet's more squared off on its side than the original somewhat rounded and as you can see, now screw fixed links to replace the original pin sleeve, so you no longer need a punch and a block to size your bracelet. Intermediate links are polished and set and finished, and it's all very solid and secure. You can see on the underside, Omega leaves nice gaps between the links to avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. There's a lovely little system built in such that you now have a feature previously exclusive to the Planet Oceans. You have approximately 9.7 millimeters of incremental push button adjustment, and then you still have the all or nothing fold out dive extension. So you have both a push button slider for precise sizing, and then the fold out. Between the two of them, you're getting well over an inch of extension or 25 millimeters for the rest of the world. As you can see, there is a clasp that features a lovely hairline bevel on the side, as well as deep ridged satination. And as you can see, this one is exceptionally fresh. Unfortunately, the original owner never really had the pleasure of the piece, but you will. His loss is your gain. The condition is outstanding. And as you can see, the timepiece featuring a very solid machined clasp and swing arm from solid components not stamped. Roll into the case. This is the case known to generations of Seamaster and Speedmaster fans. As you can see, it includes polished bevels, longitudinal satin finish, a thin mid case, the liar style lugs that turn inward on their inner face and outward on their outer face, and a new conical profile helium escape valve. You can now open it during your dive. That's a technical refinement over the original. When the internal pressure of the watch exceeds two to three bar, the external pressure, the helium valve will open up provided you've unscrewed it and it will release the helium as you ascend from your saturation or exotic mixture dive. The bezel, which is the reason I'm not wearing a glove on my right hand, features a rotating action. Let's hear it. It is the best feeling and sounding diver 300 meter bezel yet. Line up the luminescent pearl and you have a zero to 60 minute count up timer. The bezel quality is excellent. The insert is ceramic for scratch resistance. The numerals as well as the indices are cold enamel. Now the dial, I'm gonna get as close as I can without corrupting the image. The dial is made of ceramic as the chemical formula under the hands reveals this is zirconium oxide, but you'll note there's also a metallic sunburst across the Omega Wave motif, and that is a sort of silver chrome that is on top of the ceramic base. So this is the silver chrome dial with sunburst atop ceramic, and you can see the laser ablated Omega Wave, which returned after a hiatus on the 2012 to 2017 version of the watch. There's a matching chrome silver date wheel with blue numerals in good taste, and you can see all applique indices. The date moves from three o'clock down to six o'clock for this generation, but the Bond style skeleton hands remain and return. Screw down crown, 300 meter water resistance. Let's flip this one upside down and take a look at caliber 
8800. 35 jewels. I'm going to get as close as I can here without corrupting. 35 jewels, automatic winding, 55 hour power reserve, stop seconds, and a quick set date. It is a Metaz chronometer, which means it is a master chronometer using the standard developed by the Swiss Institute of Metrology and Omega. Hand in hand, the standard tests in six positions, not the chronometer five, and tests the fully cased movement, not the bare movement, as with the chronometer. It's the ISO standard for a chronometer. Uh, 3159, but it is also more than that as water resistance, anti-magnetism, power reserve, and winding efficiency are also tested. The watch is effectively amagnetic thanks to its silicon hairspring and highly shock resistant thanks to its rotor bearing, free sprung balance, and full balance bridge. It beats way at 25,200 vibrations per hour, and it uses the still impressive Omega coaxial escapement developed by George Daniels in the 70s, industrialized by Omega in 1999, and just about perfected today. It improves the precision as well as increases the intervals between services. This is the latest tri-level coaxial, a coaxial master chronometer, all that and beautiful. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. We're back with the Diver 300 meter. Note the differential green loom for the bezel pearl and the minute hand, plus the loomed seconds hand. Every diver should have both features.